Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and this is part 15 of the Fantasy Wall Diorama series of tutorials. And in this part, I show you how I do the lizard's nest. There's this little section here uh, with um, the nests from the lizards for the lizard men underground. And it's also lights up. So, and I'll show you real quick how I do all of this. Um, this intro is in high definition, so you can get a look at what's going on here. But most of the tutorial, the rest of the tutorial will be in um, regular definition. So the lizards are you know, the underground lizard men that will be in the wall diorama. And I also have a tutorial on how to um, carve this, carve these, cast them in rubber, and then make plastic uh, duplicates. I have a whole bunch of these to populate the dungeon. So that's this tutorial. It's kind of nice, the lighting, the little eggs and the little nests in there. And if you um, are not familiar with the wall diorama, I have a lot of different stuff on it. And all these different things that I've done are all in a tutorial. All the various tutorials here on my YouTube channel or on my website on how to do all these various things that I've got. It's not going to work with high, high def, I don't think. That's what we got. I have the the under or the above ground section. I mean, I'll do it like this. I have the above ground section with the trees in autumn. And those, <clears throat> here's the entrance to the underground dungeon here. And it has a, an elevator that goes up and down. And that actually goes up and down. It's motorized. And I show you how I do that. I have the gold and silver mines. Gold mine, the silver mine. The underground castle. And the little drawbridge here is motorized. It goes up and down with a little servo motor. I have the blacksmith shop over here. And then let me let me go down a bit. All right, the blacksmith shop. I didn't say, but it has the forge actually lights up with a little LED in there. I have the dungeon with the different cells. One of the cells lights up. I have the underground water section. That's real. Ca I cast that. That's solid treasure chest in, in the water and a waterfall. I show you how to do that in one of the tutorials. And I have the special secret section here. And the final section that I'll be doing when I finally finish this thing off is the Dragon's Lair over here. And that's a CD, that's, a, that's the innards of a CD player. And it actually goes back and forth. So I can mount the dragon on it and the dragon kind of come out at our adventurers. So that's, that's pretty much the whole wall diorama. And in this tutorial, you know, I will show you how I did the, uh, the, the lizard's nest. The lighting and everything. It's kind of neat. And uh, none of that's in high definition, just to save on this file size. Plenty more diorama stuff. I have all these diorama, all these tutorials right here on my YouTube channel. And uh, lots more stuff, diorama making stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com. Okay, I started with a blank of foam. And I carved it with a, um, a hot hot carving tool, did some sanding, and you can see how the nests are starting to form. There are uh, indentations, those are where the nests are. Once I got it to the right shape, I painted it basic colors, blacks and greens, and again you can see the greens are in the nesting sections. Forms like little bowls where I'm going to put the nests in there. Then once I got the basic colors in, I went on to do some detail painting. A lot of grays and blacks, a little bit of silver, just to, to get some nice detail. And you can see how the green of the nests coming out nicely there. You see those indentations. Now the eggs, the lizard eggs, I just got um, dried um, peas um, for planting and I painted them a variety of different colors, kind of like pastel colors. I had a lot of trouble with those. Now to make the nest, I put glue, I put a circle of glue in the nest like this. And then I used um, sphagnum moss, bits of sphagnum moss and, and um, Spanish moss. And just cut it into, and just broke it into pieces like this. And then placed it in a kind of a nest shape. See, and I can repeated that there are five nests on this um, on this little platform. Now for the eggs, I, I put 
dabs of glue in the middle of the nest. Now this glue will dry clear. And then I just pop the eggs right in there. And you have four or five per nest. Try to get a little bit of color. You can see the color. And that's it. That's pretty much how I made the nests. Then what I did was I cut out the old section that I had in the wall diorama, the old what floor or ceiling, whatever you, whichever you want to call it. I just cut that out with a hacksaw blade and removed it. I had previously measured the new section and then I just installed the new section right in there and then I hot glued it in place so it was a nice fit. Then just a little touch up work with the foam and some glue to get it to look right without looking like it was placed in there. Now the electro work, if you've watched earlier parts, you know that I've already had the wires in here. I wired them up very early in the process so I could get them. And then I just um, soldered um, five light bulbs right in place and tested them before I finished it. It's important to test them so you don't have to take them apart. Now to hide the light bulbs, I made um, columns. You know, and I punched holes in the in the ceiling there and kind of stuck the bulbs mostly in to hide the wires, but I still wanted to hide them more, so I, I, I made these columns. Just carved them out of foam and glued them in place and add some nice depth to it. Now that's pretty much the whole thing. I glued those columns in place. Now it's all the detail painting. I painted the columns. I used a variety of colors. I always start with some base colors and then move on to the detail uh, work. So that's the whole um, part 15, how to do the lizard's nest. And I don't have a whole lot more to go on this diorama. Hopefully I'll be finishing it up pretty soon. Here's a couple of looks. There's the completed nest from one angle. So it looks pretty good. I love the lighting and the columns. So another angle there. Straight, straight looking forward. There we go a little further back. And here we go is an overall look of how the wall diorama stands so far. Lots more stuff from our website at stormthecastle.com. Click on one of these videos if you want to watch it.